Is information the fifth form of matter? Now, we all know there is no dark matter. Instead, information has mass, according to a new paper. Now, researchers have been trying for over 60 years to detect dark matter and have spent billions, trillions of dollars to no avail. There are many theories about it, but none are supported by any evidence. Just money. Now, the mass energy information equivalence principle just published this week combines several theories to offer an alternative to dark matter. And it's a glorious day. Do we live in the matrix? Well, it's becoming ever more possible. Now, since the 1970s, astronomers and physicists have been able, unable to identify any evidence of dark matter. None. Billions have been spent. Now, one theory is that it's all tied up in space-bound objects called machos or massive, compact halo objects. And these include black holes, super black holes, brown dwarfs and neutron stars. And this is a fake picture because we haven't witnessed many of the things they say exist. Now, another theory is that dark matter is made up of a type of non-baryonic matter called WIMPs or weakly interacting massive particles. Baryonic matter is the kind made up of baryons, such as protons and neutrons. And everything composed of them, which is anything with an atomic nucleus, electrons, neutrinos, muons, and tau particles, aren't baryons, however, but a class of particles called leptons. Even though the hy hypothetical WIMPs would have 10 to 100 times the mass of a proton, their interactions with normal matter would be weak, making them very hard to detect. And then there are those aforementioned neutrinos. Did you know that giant streams of neutrinos pass from the sun through the earth each day without us ever noticing? They're the focus of another theory. It says that neutral neutrinos that only interact with normal matter through gravity are what dark matter is comprised of. Other candidates include two theoretical particles, the neutral axion and the uncharged photino. Does this all sound like science fiction? <laughs> well, yes, because it is. And now... Now, for the first time ever, we have one theoretical physicist that posits an even more radical notion, which we have known the whole time here on the channel. What if dark matter doesn't exist at all? Now, Dr. Melvin Vopson, and kudos to Dr. Melvin Vopson of the University of Portsmouth in the UK, has a hypothesis he calls the mass energy information equivalence. And it's awesome. It states that information is the fundamental building block of the universe. And guess what? It has mass. And this accounts for the missing mass within the galaxies, thus eliminating the hypothesis of dark matter entirely. What a beautiful day. Now, to be clear, the idea that information is an essential building block of the universe is not new. Classical information theory was first posited by Claude Edward Shannon, the father of the digital age. Now, Claude Elwood Shannon, some say, is the father of the future.
Now, the mathematician and engineer, well-known in scientific circles, but not so much outside of them, especially in the mainstream media, had a stroke of genius back in 1940. He realized that Boolean algebra coincided perfectly with the telephone switching circuits. Soon, he proved that mathematics could be employed to design electrical systems. And he won many awards because he's a genius. Shannon was hired at Bell Labs to figure out how to transfer information over a system of wires. And he very well may, Mel, he very well may be Al Gore and have invented the internet. He wrote the Bible on using mathematics to set up communication systems, thereby laying the foundation for the digital age, period. Shannon was also the first to define one unit of information as a bit. There were perhaps no greater proponents of information theory than another unsung paragon of science, John Archibald Wheeler. Now, Wheeler is a legend, and he was part of the Manhattan Project. He worked on the S matrix with Niels Bohr, and he even helped Einstein develop a unified theory of physics. In his later years, he proclaimed, everything is information. Then he went about exploring connections between quantum mechanics and information theory. He also coined the phrase, it from bit, or that every particle in the universe emanates from information locked inside it. At the Santa Fe Institute in 1989, Wheeler announced that everything from particles to forces to the fabric of space-time itself derives its function, its meaning, and its very existence entirely from the apparatus elicited answers to yes or no questions. Binary choices. Bits. And this is all of quantum computing. You know, like the matrix that we're living in. Now, Vopson takes the notion one step further in this paper, and he says that not only is information the essential unit of the universe, but also that it is energy and it has mass. Information is energy and it has mass. To support his claim, he unifies all coordinates, special relativity, with the Landauer principle. Now, the Landauer principle is named after Rolf Landauer. In 1961, this is over 60 years ago, Landauer predicted that erasing even one bit of information would release a tiny amount of heat. A figure which he actually calculated. Landauer said, this proves information is more than just a mathematical quantity. This connects information to energy for the first time ever. Through experimental testing over the decades, the Landauer principle has held up. This is science. Now, Vopson says, Landauer first identified the link between thermodynamics and information by postulating that logical irreversibility of a computational process implies physical irreversibility. And this indicates that information is physical. And then Vopson goes on to say, and demonstrations and demonstrates the link between information and the theory of thermodynamics. And he does this with an equation in the new paper. In Vopson's theory, information once created 
has a finite and quantifiable mass. So every time I'm speaking, there's mass being created. Every time you're typing, there's mass being created. Every email sent, mass being created. And it accounts for all the dark matter. Mind-blowing. Now, this theory so far only applies to digital systems, but could very well apply to analog and biological systems too, and even quantum or relativistic moving systems like solar systems and universes. Relativity and quantum mechanics are possible future directions of the mass energy information equivalence principle, according to the author. This is amazing. Absolutely stunning. And in the paper published in the Journal of AIP Advances, you're looking at here, which you'll get a link to. Bobson outlines the mathematical basis for his hypothesis, and it's way over the head of 99% of the people watching this podcast. I am the first to propose the mechanism and the physics by which information acquires mass, he said, as well as to formulate this powerful principle and to propose a possible experiment to test it. This is mind-blowing. Others have suggested this, as we've told you. Doug Vogt even has information on it. He calls it the die hold. But this would be the fifth state of matter. Now, to measure the mass of digital information, you need <laughs> a heck of a scale. But you start with an empty data storage device. Next. You measure its total mass with a highly sensitive measuring apparatus. Then you fill it and you determine its mass. Next, you erase one file and evaluate it again. It's that simple. The trouble is the ultra accurate mass measurement, which would be billionths of a gram, doesn't exist yet. But this device would be an inferometer, something similar to LIGO, or perhaps an ultra-sensitive weighing machine akin to the kibble balance, which you're looking at here. According to the author, and I quote, currently, I'm in the process of applying for a small grant with the main objective of designing such an experiment followed by calculations to check if detection of these small mass changes are even possible. Assuming the grant is successful and the estimates are positive, then a larger international consortium could be formed to undertake the construction of a larger instrument. This is not a workbench laboratory experiment. It would most likely be a large and costly facility. If eventually proved correct, Vopsin will have discovered the fifth form of matter, information. So what's the connection to dark matter, Vopsin says? N.P. Go published an article in 2008 in which he worked out the number of bits of information that the visible universe would contain to make up all the missing dark matter, which we've wasted trillions of dollars looking for. And it appears that Go's estimates of the information bit content of the universe is exactly the same as the missing dark matter. Holy macaroni. There is no dark matter. And information is the key. And that's boom. To knowledge. I know you got something out of this video. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon. Subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for updates on this fascinating experiment. A breakthrough. Well, this could be the most important 
scientific discovery of all time. Be safe. We love you. Mm.